Welcome back. An 18 year old man from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho is in federal custody, charged with supporting ISIS and planning a suicide attack on churches. According to the Department of Justice, Alexander Mercurio shared his plans on social media with other people he thought were ISIS sympathizers. Andrew Zodro shares the evidence found to support the charges. <laughs> According to court documents from the FBI, Alexander Mercurio admitted to first finding ISIS ideology while schools were canceled during the pandemic. And just to put that in context, Mercurio is 18 as of right now, so he was a young teen then. Those same documents tell a scary tale of a Coeur d'Alene teen who says he once grew up following white supremacy ideology, but converted to Islam, conflicting with his religious Christian parents. In private messages to a man he thought was another terrorist sympathizer, but was actually a federal agent, Mercurio feared he wasn't doing enough for the Islamic cause, saying, quote, I don't have the desire to do anything except jihad, a craving for mayhem and terror as recently as three weeks ago. Lamenting that he was going to go through all of Ramadan without committing an act of violence, Mercurio allegedly devised a plan where he would walk to the nearest church, attack churchgoers with baton, use a knife to kill them, burn the church to the ground, and do the same until no churches were left in Coeur d'Alene. He also had plans to either kill or kidnap his father before the attack, primarily to obtain access to his weapons. At around 12.45 on Saturday, the FBI raided Mercurio's home, finding a metal pipe, an ISIS flag, handcuffs, a folding saw, two canisters of butane fuel, a machete, and more, all in his bedroom. Andrew Zadro reporting. If convicted, Mercurio faces a maximum penalty of 20 years in federal prison. He's currently in custody, awaiting his initial court appearance.